beautiful day for sure. Back at Cumberland today. It's gonna be a bright bluebird day though, so it's really gonna be a challenge, but that's okay too. Lord bless us with a beautiful day and we're very thankful. Also, we got David again. <laughs> gonna see if David maybe can catch one on a drop shot today. Either way, we're just thankful to be out and enjoy the Lord's creation. Thank you, Jesus, for a beautiful day. I just, the waves, you can't control, you can't control the boat. Oh yeah. Get one? Oh son, yes sir. <laughs> what about that? Come on. That's a crappie. Oh my goodness it is. Yeah. Son. That's a hog. Son, that's a crappie. <laughs> I didn't turn my camera on yet. Good night, that's a huge crappie. Golly. Thank you for netting that. Look at that crappie. Golly. No, he didn't want that. Put that in the live well. Yep. Man. Hey, can I have my bait back? Come on, buddy. Son, what a crappie. I told you they were big in here. Look at that. I'll put it up here. That's a nice crappie. That is awesome. Cool. Yeah, you've done good on that swim bait today. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. Hold on to him. Now just slow down. Oh, he's big. Good. That's good. Slow down. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. That's bigger. <laughs> uh. Oh, that was awesome. Look at him. <laughs> That's funny. God, look at that. That is a hunk. Yes, sir. That's a good one there. Send that to David. He hasn't been caught very much. Well, when he first, I first hit the hook, I was like, that don't feel right. So I was like, I'm going to set it hard the second time. Okay, I warned you. Yep. There's one right there. Spot. I don't know. It's a, I think it's a smallmouth. Yeah, like small yeah, I think it's a smallmouth. <laughs> little bitty one. Come here, little one. Come here, little one. We jump off. Hey. Fun. What a fun. Oh, hold still. Hey, you Hit that little thing. He's right up on them rocks. Won't even do no good to try to get those pictures right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's a little one, but we thank you for that one. Off he goes. Hey, 
fish. Shoot my thing off. A little spot. I'll steal a little spot. Hey. Pretty little spot. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Spots like it. I keep throwing my bait off though. I ain't bait ain't gonna last, they keep doing that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Whew, it's nice been here. You know the fish are down here, right? Are you sure? Yeah. I don't see how. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. That's interesting. It's an inter it's interesting technique. I'll just put it that way. Very interesting technique. Yeah, very interesting technique for sure, buddy. Very. It must be a Andrew's book of fishing. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Where are we at? Right now we're peeling drag. <laughs> <laughs> right now we're peeling drag is what we're doing. Here we go. Here he comes. 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 He's all over the place. Hold on. Hold on. Son, he is not happy. Come on. Come in here. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Hold on. I had him. Here we go. Here we go. Hey. Yeah. Look at that, son. <laughs> Look at that color on him. That's beautiful. Look. He wanted it, didn't he? Told you. I swallow it. There you go. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What's a pretty little small mouth? Beautiful. Off he goes. Throw back in here. Throw back in there while I'm getting this off. <laughs> Son, look at that hook. Oh, yeah. it's in there. Look, it came out the side. Yep. That's, those are good hooks, ain't they? Oh, did you get one? Yep. 
Oh, uh, well, that's a similar. So those are what are on those. <laughs> so it makes sense though. It actually, it makes sense. Yes. Because you're such a professional at catching those, you might as well catch this babies. <laughs> hey, it's talent. That's what I'm telling you. It's pure talent, buddy. I'm trying to position the boat so you can have that little spot right there. Huh? Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that hook and that rod, to be honest with you. Huh? Thank you, Lord Jesus. A little bit in, but it's okay. Oh, where'd he go? He swim off. Look how far down you can see. Oh, look, there's a little bass. See him? He's chilling. <laughs> oh, well, I'll let you do the others. <sighs> nice. Shake. Shake, shake, shaky. Hey, you know what? That's my first shaky head fish on my new shaky head rod. Yep. Fish probably wish I'd put him back. Yeah. Like, dude, you know I can't breathe out of water, right? I mean, you know that. Well, I had no idea. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Boy, he's skinny. But. There he goes. God bless you all. Um, took a buddy with me fishing today. Took David again. We both had off, so we went to enjoy. We both like fishing. Um, we went to Cumberland. I pretty much, the other day when I went, um, I started back with that pattern. So here's just a little tip, which we always tend to as fishermen, we, we get hooked just as easy as the fish do, let's be honest. We see the new bait, hey, I'm gonna try that this week. Hey, we see the new thing, I'm gonna do this this week. Nothing wrong with that, you can do whatever you want to when you go fishing. Here's the issue though. If you want to catch fish, use what works. I know that sounds simple, but it's the truth. Even I have to remind myself of this, okay? So I have a box full of crankbaits, that's great. They're not biting crankbaits right now, or I can't get them to bite a crankbait. Uh, spinnerbaits, I absolutely love throwing a spinnerbait. Guess what? They're not biting that spinnerbait right now. So what are they biting? Well, right now for me, I'm still throwing that little tight line. 
I learned the other day how to make that little loop. You can go online. There's all kinds of videos how to make it. Um, this is one of the little worms that I, one of the little minnows that I threw. This isn't the exact one that I was using, um, but this is one of them just to kind of give you an idea of what what the bait actually does. So it kind of pendulums on that little loop knot. And that loop knot moving around is a. Uh, is the action that that little bait gets. I started out with this bait this morning because a couple of days ago when I went, this is the bait that I ended with. So I already knew that they were biting it. So I wanted to put it to the test, all right? So I got there today, me and David did, it was cold. Uh, they said that the temperatures were going up to 60. They might've got up into the 60s at exactly four o'clock in the afternoon, but during the morning it was cold. Uh, honestly, it felt felt more about like 40 degrees outside. It's cold enough overnight that the water temperature when I got there was 58 degrees in a lot of places. So the water had gone down at least five degrees from the last time that I was there. Uh, or not the last time, the time before that. Because I had seen it up to 66. It's below that now. So, so that's a bait that I started out with. Caught quite a few fish. Got on a little surge there for a little bit on this little bait. And I probably caught seven fish in 30 minutes. Were they all monsters? No, there was a pretty nice small mouth and a couple good spots. But I go for fun fishing. If I catch a big one, to me it's a blessing. I go just enjoy the day. I go to enjoy God's creation. I love catching fish, love seeing everything the Lord's made out in, at the lake. Um, water clarity. I gotta remember the temperature was down to 58 this morning in the water temperature, okay? So water clarity, you could see down five feet in a lot of places we fished today. They still hit this little bait right here. They had no problem with it. Now here's what you have to remember. After the wind got pretty bad where we were at, so we had to move because number one, we couldn't feel it. Number two, it was so cold and bitter that honestly we had to find somewhere where we were a little more protected from the wind. So we moved on, okay? Once again, the setup I'm throwing that on is that drop shot. That's that drop shot rod. Um, 3,000 reel, eight pound test fluorocarbon. I love that red label. I keep extra spools in my, in my boat just because I have backlashes too. I have little bird's nests too, okay? Next little setup. So here's what happens. When you go early in the morning, we're blessed a lot of times to have a morning bite, okay? Love the morning bite. Everything's on the bank, it's easy. All you got to do is just throw on the bank, throw close to the bank, trees on the bank. What well, seems like they'll hit anything you throw. Usually about 11 o'clock, what do you do? About 11 o'clock, everybody starts talking about how hard it is. Well, I'm going to tell you one way to get around that. Everybody always talks about a shaky head. Everybody wants to talk about throwing an eighth ounce shaky head. That little tight line bait, that's an eighth ounce little head sinks super slow this right here the shakies that i like quarter ounce so why in the world would you throw a quarter ounce quarter ounce because i'm not throwing it on the bank quarter ounce because i'm looking for it to drop i'm looking for it to drop on the bottom and i'm working it on the bottom little by little 10 pound test fluorocarbon cigar red label again i haven't had any trouble with that line this little setup that I've got it put on right here, and everybody knows, green pumpkin worm, everybody likes to dip the tail. We all do it. Uh, personally though, instead of dipping them in the little bottles because they go everywhere, I like the markers. They work just the same. Um, awesome little setup right here, same thing. This one here, the other one is the drop shot version of this rod. This one here is a shaky head version. They're both 6'10". They're easy on my shoulders. 
difference is this right here uses 10 pound line still i use that 3000 size reel they're both nasis uh that's the name of the the reel n-a-s-c-i both of them shimano reels awesome drags in both of them most of the time the problem i find in spinning reels and people ask me this sometimes man why do you get better spinning reels well, here's the thing your bait casters you can kind of go borderline with them okay depending on what technique you're going to use on you can use a decent bait caster because you're usually you're using between 15 20 pound line depending on what you're using okay spinning rods spinning reels a lot different issue you're dealing with eight 10 pound line that drag has to be super smooth when it comes to pulling that bait off okay you want just enough backbone to where it sets the hook but just enough drag on there that when i go to pull back it lets out just a little bit of drag that's what you want a better reel will do that better for you you get one of the cheaper reels and you go to pull back and set the hook it, the drag's one of two ways either too loose or too tight if you spend just a little bit more on your spinning reels and get that bigger 3000 series i'm telling you i can't tell a difference from throwing 10 pound tests and eight pound tests as far as coming off the spool when i had the 2500s i could use eight pound test on it no problem but when i went to throw the 10 pound test it it cooled up on me all the time when i switched to 3000 size reels night and day difference anyway that's the two setups that i had today um a buddy of mine david he was throwing a couple other little rigs he finally switched there for a little while and i set him up with a little tight line setup as well um then what we did is he used the same tight line setup we went to a little bit bigger hook uh because he was throwing a little bit like a swim bait so we switched him over to the swim bait and he started catching quite a few fish and you'll see some of the fish that he caught uh, same thing little eight ounce weight uh just regular size hook and thread up on it just a little bitty swim bait uh, probably about a two inch little swim bait i i mean we saw two pretty good smallmouth which 15 16 inch smallmouth come out of the trees and hit you on a spinning rod how can that not be fun now, he, he lost one of them but then one he caught uh he also had that little swim bait he was reeling it along and moving it they didn't want it to where steady had retreated they wanted it to where you were just moving it just like you would a regular shake so it was just dropping bouncing around he wound up catching a crappie which you'll see in there is almost 13 inch crappie blessing to have that fish too um any questions anybody have try your best to message me um the spots that i was at probably can't tell you the spots because they're pretty common they get beat to death enough as it is but i can give you an idea of uh you know was it back in a pocket was it the beginning of a pocket different things like that i can tell you that no problem uh, just message me or any questions that you have i'll try my best to help you uh, god bless you all thank you all for all the great comments the great prayers i know a lot of you are praying for me I pray that the lord jesus blesses you all um, don't forget jesus loves you y'all have a blessed day